Hello there guys, gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Amazing Maze. No, not the one from Rayman, but it's an Amazing Maze game all on its own. We have new challenges and everything in the classical rollerball kind of genre. Now, this game is actually one that is fun, yet quite challenging. But, as you'll be able to see, a lot of the levels we will be actually able to skip. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely one of the most fun sort of puzzle rollerball games I've had in a while. And you'll see why. Uh, now, as for achievements, then, the achievements are genuinely very easy. We will... Now, what you'd normally have to do is complete all four chapters, which consist of 40 levels. But what we're going to do is we're going to complete the first 10 levels, skip to level 20, then skip to level 30, and then skip to level 40. Job done. And we've got a couple of miscellaneous ones that we're going to smash out in the first level or two as well. But overall, this was a fun game. I did enjoy this one. This was, of course, as well developed by Lucky uh, Raccoon Games and also published by Lucky Raccoon Games. So a uh, bit, bit of a classic, a bit of a very good debut game for them. So all in all then, you're looking at potentially around a, a one to two hours with this little cheat, uh, the little level skip. So with that being said then, let's do it. Now the first thing, the exactly first thing we're going to do is nothing for five minutes. Um, so obviously the first couple of levels, first up to ten levels are obviously going to be very, um, very easy and very chill. But the first achievement we are going to get is for completing a level after five minutes. So for the time being, we will just chill out. As you can see, you've got a clock there in the top left-hand corner telling you what to do, telling you what to do. So obviously, left stick to roll, and we will pick up power um, uh, powers for like jumping and speeding a little bit later on. I'll explain more in a bit. The yellow cubes um, are just for the leaderboard, and the uh, white cube there is the checkpoint, which comes in handy. Once you stick your ball in the hole, <laughs> uh, it's not actually done, uh, so just continue forward. And I'll tell you what, the, the, there's loads of little bits of writing on this, um, which I think is actually a nice touch. I think it's actually a very good touch, um, where it's not just, right, shove you in, have fun. They've they've made fun with it, little, little bits of uh, dialogue everywhere. But after that, what we'll do now is restart the level. Um, so you'll get a couple of achievements here for completing the first level. We're now going to get an achievement for completing the first level after successfully completing the first level. So, yeah, just restart. Uh, restart after. There we go. So we've restarted the level after successfully completing it. So we'll just do the exact same thing we've done. There is an achievement for getting all yellow cubes on a level, which you can... It doesn't work on level one, but it does work on level two and beyond. I actually didn't get it on level two. I got it on the very last level, level 40, because there's no way you can miss any cubes. Although level 40 was... You know how you get pains in your genitalia sometimes? It was one of those. I felt like I had a third and fourth ball just swimming around down there in agony and pain. Anyway, more on that later. So now for now, now for now, we can just continue on with the game. Now, you could use the whole level skip to get to level 10, but basically we have to complete a parkour level, and the first one's on level 9, and it doesn't actually work. So you have to complete, or I anyway had to complete the first 10 levels uh, legit, um, in order to do this. So here are the uh, power-ups that I'm talking about then. So with the speed, it'll tell you in the bottom left-hand corner as well what they are. So just in case you uh, maybe like me, I'm a little bit colorblind. Um, but what we'll do first here, we are going to die. So we are going to jump off as well. So make sure that you've just died at least once because we need to complete the level after dying. Or dying twice, apparently. Um, so, since we have the Poiple Bow, which is for wall climbing, let's just get ourselves another blue barrel and make sure to nip over. Again, remember to collect all the yellow cubes if you want to get that achievement out of the way. Um, so, obviously, again, this is more of a tutorial level, so if you just hold the A button and climb yourself up, that's job done. Now, again, if you want make the achievement, make sure to grab all the yellow cubes from around. Um, as you can see, I totally didn't do that, so I don't get the achievement yet. But there we go, so we get the climber wall, so we, we've gotten, I think, pretty much half of the achievements already. Well, aren't we goddamn fantastic? But like I said, now we are basically going to do, as I said, the first 10 levels legit. They're quite easy, they're genuinely, uh, again, genuinely a lot of fun as well. Um, 
And yes, it does get <laughs> quite more challenging. So these things here, they don't kill you, but they do give you a little wacky, wacky woodle on the old noodle. You can die lots in this game. The first one is a laser here, which you can't really miss this one. Um, so, yeah. But like I said, the later, the later levels, you will die plenty and lots. So, you know, all good. So we get little speed boosts as well. But again, what I like about this game is it's not always advisable to go for the speed boosts. Again, as you will see later on. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's basically, I think, the majority now of the miscellaneous ones done. Now it's just a case of playing the game. <clears throat> playing the game normally. So for now, we will take a right. Uh, by the way, with the right bumper and left bumper, you can also move the camera angle. Sorry, did forget to mention that. But uh, if you're having trouble with one camera angle, just go ahead and use the right bumper here or the left bumper in order to move it so you know where you're going a bit better. Uh, so continuing on forwards then, obviously collecting the white cubes. You don't have to worry about the yellow cubes now. Um, if you got the achievement, and even if you didn't, don't worry because we'll get it on the very last level. So if you can, just jump over and then jump up again. Uh, take a left this time. And again... This is what I mean by the speed boost as we finish the game. If you continued on with the speed boost, you would have gone straight into the laser. Um, but if you do end up going to one of those speed boosts, just press the left stick in the opposite direction to slow yourself down. Down, 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 go. So, yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do like about this game as well. A lot of things seem obvious, but it's, you know, like the things you got to take, the paths you got to take. But nothing is too obvious in this game, which is... It's good. It's The achievement list is easy, but it's a good challenge, and that's what we like, right? Right, so we'll continue on then. Um, obviously, we're just going straight forward for the time being. Uh, obviously, we've got the speed one. Now, what we need to do here is just hit the blocks onto the lasers so we can sneak our way through. Um, and you're going to have to do this for all three. So once you get through, lovely then, we will just continue on our way. And ooh, we have lots of stuff, but we're going to do some uh, little bit of jumping, pumping, and sticky terry umping, whatever the hell that means. Now, don't do what I just do here. Like I said, that's one of the good, that's one of the weird things. I say weird, it's actually a fun thing about this game. It seems like you could just go straight into it and job done, but no, there's a lot of stuff which will catch you out, and that is one of them. So, uh, yeah, pretty much it's just a straight forward to the finish now. So that'll be level five done. <laughs> Mr. Mo, here we go. So I want to level six. Now, first thing we're going to do is go to the right. First of all, because we actually need to get some stuff. So, again, you know, just... You know, obviously, we're just taking our time. There's no need to rush. As we continue, it doesn't matter which way you go up here, but we are going to need to go in straight ahead. So with the speed, speed boost your way straight into this wall. I'll get rid of that. Now, you'd think why, but it's obvious when we get there. So take a right, head up straight, and now we can just simply jump our way over. Jump it, pump it. Ugh! Or something or other. Now, wait here just until the moving platform appears and platformingly moves us. That's what a moving platform does. Jump over, we are going to get our next power-up. And this time, now this one may take a few attempts, so you've got to sort of hold the A button and then sort of release it when you need to just get, yeah, it's, it's sort of releasing the climb button where you need to nip straight through. So uh, it may take a, a couple of attempts there to get used to that, but generally, again, not so bad. And so we continue onwards, wouldn't you know, in a video game. Right, so let's just go to the uh, left, first of all. We are, well, I say the left, it's straight left up the platform. And there is a power up that we're going to need first. So that's why we came here first, because, you know, power ups and stuff. Drop down and follow the only obvious path. Now, this part, again, did take me a couple of tries here, so... You need to be sort of timing it quick. So as soon as it, as soon as that first laser went, just nip yourself straight through with the speed boost. So again, I do apologize if some of this 
is a bit quick. Um, but we'll nip our way up. Make sure to grab the checkpoint as well, because the last thing you want to do is start from further back. Wait for the moving plute form. Man, I'm smashing out these puzzle games here. Yeah. Right, now we got the crappy lightsabers or whatever they are. Uh, just nip past them. I mean, they do look like, they look like dildo lightsabers, don't they? Anyway, jump over. It doesn't matter which way you've gone, as long as you've jumped over the, um, the laser. Yeah, and up we go to complete level seven. I didn't mean to call them dildo lightsabers, okay? I'm sorry. They just look like, you know, ones you get from Wish. But apparently they still do a ton of damage because they hit you in the balls and off you go. Right, so level eight will continue on forwards. So just wait for the moment and blast yourself over until you can get past the old lightsaber, the old Wish lightsaber. And get the power up and make your way back. By the way, the music is another... I really like the music in this game. It's a classin'. So make sure not to hit the speed boost, of course. This time we'll take the right. And we'll just go over the platform. The only thing that was the opposite side there was literally just more yellow cubes and stuff. You're not missing out on much. So now we've got a bit of speed. Now, again, this is more timing rather than speed. So just wait. Get yourself in the middle. And then as soon as the top one stops, nip straight for it. And that's level 8 complete. Boom. Really makes me want a Jack Daniels Honey and Coke. All this music. It's bouncing. Right, level 9. The first parkour level then. So, what we'll do first then. Yes, there was a bit of an edit because I messed up. Um, get rid of... Uh, get past the lightsaber there on the bottom. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our time jumping over the lasers. What you think the game would want you to do is actually jump up onto the platform and jump yourself over, but I couldn't find any way to do that. Another nice trick there. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Lucky Raccoon Games. Uh, so make sure to jump yourself over. Now we're going to change the camera. Uh, and we're going to go straight into the laser, apparently. Uh, but no, you should be able to just hit the A button there to wall climb your set. Yes. As a blue ball, you're going to wall climb. It's, it's good. It's good. I, I really hope more people play this. So, speed yourself up, but wait just a second. You don't want to go too fast, because we need to fan our way up. And get onto the next platform in front of us. Come on, Kiel. Yeah, there we go. Right, watch out for the fan there. It's going to it'll obviously push you straight down the middle. So, once we've got ourselves blue balls up, give yourself a wall jump to the left, and then hit it to the right. Give yourself the old Mario Bouncy Bouncy. And that will be level 9 complete, and you'll get the achievement there for completing your first parkour level. Now, as I said, so from now on, basically, all we have to do is uh, play level 10, 20, 30, and 40. But we do have to do these ones legit. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, the if you just skip the level 10 level, the achievement doesn't unlock. So, as you can see there, I got kind of lucky not messing that one up. So, we will go to the left, actually. Before we do that, so stay in the middle, and then when it's safe, nip off to the left. Obviously, grab the checkpoint. Because you don't want to be messing that boy up. Boy, boy, boy. And this is another one, then, that you just need to be careful. Don't actually go into the speed boost. Get nipped past the speed boost, because you'll be flying straight off. Like a crappier Assassin's Creed. Now, what we're going to do, when we get onto this platform, we're going to take the left moving platform down. Um, you didn't need to do this, because we've got to come this way anyway. So, hey, and I fall anyway. Ah! What a douchebag! Right, so, as I said earlier, the left one, which is now the straight one, uh, because we need to get past the old dildy lightsaber and hit the switch, which will get the platform at the top moving. And there it is, you'll see it now. So, that's bang tidy. That's noisy sloicy. Right, again, careful, get past the lightsaber. And then we wait, and we wait, and I blow my house down, or something. Right, next, go to the left, okay, I'll just wait, and we wait. Again, better to wait, no need to rush, because, of course, sometimes, we, if you're controlling your balls, sometimes it can get a little tricky to keep them under control. Men know, men know. Right, be careful, then, with this bit, so what we're going to do is... When we get to the right, we're going to try and aim for the right as much as we can, and that should then just blow you enough that you are not falling over the edge. Just try and stay to the right-hand side as much as you can, and then with this one, the only way that I found to do this was actually to nip around the wall. 
So if you uh, move the camera this way, I could uh, you can sort of move yourself around the wall. I really couldn't find... Uh, I couldn't get underneath the wall where the quote-unquote obvious path was telling me to go. Right, so first chapter's done. Now we've literally just got to complete all the rest of the chapters. So what you need to do then is, if you go ahead and die six times, um, and obviously, again, it'll tell you in the bottom right-hand corner how many attempts that you've uh, done. So obviously, as soon as we get to attempt six, then you'll be able to press the start button and skip the level. So that's what we're going to be doing from level 19 until we get to level 20. So have at it, boys and girls. Here for you again. So welcome to level 20, my lovenesses. Onwards we go then. So we're obviously going to follow the arrowy path, since that's the only way we can go. So watch out for the double dildo lightsaber. There we go. And again, this is one that just requires timing more than speed. <clears throat> so obviously we're going to just put the camera this way. Now, as you can see as well, it can be quite tight as well. And this starts getting more frustrating as the uh, levels go on. So you're a big ball in some quite tight spaces. Ah, so many puns. Anyway, just wait here, uh, just next to the cubes, and then just crack on. Wait in the middle next to these next cubes, and then you can actually just nip straight through. From here, then, we will be going, well, effectively straight on from where we were. There's only a bunch of cubes in the next area. Again, this is another one that you just got to, re it just requires timing. And, um, you know, try and, little movements on the left stick as we head up. And then we'll go to the left. As soon as this uh, laser's done, and then just breathe in, and off we go. Right, so we have changed bow color back to nothing. Now this one, you've just got to be quick. It's literally just a case of following the path, the obvious path. But when we get to the uh, speed boost and the Mario Boingy Boingy, ignore them completely. And just quickly as you can, get past the Boingy Boingy, and then up. Because if you go onto the Boingy Boingy, there is actually no way past. Which again, is another hilarious trick and troll by the developers here. So, yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> I love how everything's not obvious. It's, it's a really, 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 really cool game. Genuinely, genuinely enjoyed it. Anyway, let's carry on. So, as I said, now we're going to go from level 21 up to level 30. Uh, skipping the levels until we, uh, like I said, until we get to level 30. Right, so onwards we go then. Let us get level 30 done. So, first things first, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with the speed boost. Bow, bow, bing, bong, and then let's stop. Let, no, no, come on. Serious, you guys. Right, ignore the arrow for now. We're going to go up the path because it's going to get rid of those lasers, which are blocking um, the other buttons. So, obviously, we're just going to uh, nip down and then hit the other two buttons. Now, I do end up dying here, but like I said, it's it's one of those good ones where even if you've collected stuff or already done stuff, it stays collected slash already done, which is quite nice. So, hit the two buttons, and then it's literally just a case of going up and getting past the swinging bows. <laughs> Okay, so be careful here. Just make sure to slow down because you're just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Be careful not to hit the Mario boing boing. 
and then wait for the moving platform. Again, we'll have to try and sneak past the old double, uh, the old lightsaber, which I done with absolute crapping tea. Crapicity. So there we go. I managed to do it the second time around anyway, so that's all good. Right, just uh, pop your blocks out and nip your way up into the old portal of doom. And we've got some more swinging balls trying to hit our balls. I tell you what, I've got so many puns for that, but I ain't going to say nothing. Um, <laughs> kind of feel like I'm at the uh, wrong orgy right here. Right, anyway, again, this is just a case of, um, obviously, timing, just making your way through. Again, if you do struggle, obviously, you can move the camera angle, which we're going to do this time. Uh, get a little wall jump going. These bits should be generally easy enough. So get another wall jump going, and the same here. Wall jump your way up and to the left, and that's level 30 done. Now, I actually found that this one easier than uh, level 20, at least. Now... <sighs> Might I add, as we now skip all the levels from level 31 to level 40, this is where, as I said, we are now going to get the... Um, and there's no point sugarcoating it. It's an absolute... It is like somebody has taken one of, one of those big, chunky hammers and then stuck it square in your nutter butters. It's just a pain all around. But it's actually satisfying when you get it done. Anyway... Skip like hell, and let's do it. So here it is, bro skis and girl skis. Right, so what we've got to do is start off first, and then obviously just take your time. Get past the swinging balls, first of all. It's only just a narrow path. There's no shortcuts, nothing like that on this one. So wait until the lightsaber, of course, goes around and then quickly make your way through and do the same here and you can spin yourself down. But again, don't go too fast. Now, with these lasers, then nip over to the left and then nip back over to the right. And then you've got to be very, very gently and as careful as you can, just nip it in between these. Now, uh, you can just die here since we've got the checkpoint. Now, these parts took me the longest time. Purely because I kept going too slow and then I was going too fast. So don't give up. Don't get frustrated. Just breathe it out, my yoga friends. But it is the same with this bit. As soon as we get here, then hopefully the next laser would have gone. And then it's a case of going over to the left, then going to the right, and then getting this checkpoint. Now, this is actually the last part. So the level's not that long, but it is because there's so much crap going on. Now, I do get lucky with this next part as well. So just take your time. Go around. Now, stay here. I actually, Like I said, I got really lucky there. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, just take your time and go ahead and change the camera angle so you know where you're going. There you go. Just take your time. And this is the last part then. So make sure not to fall off because you will be super pissed off. Get to the end. And that is level 40. And that is the game done. Yes! But like I said, the magic of editing really saved me there because, uh, oh, that took me about 15 to 20 minutes to do on its own. So there we go then. Anyway, guys and gals, so Amazing Mace is done. Really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. And I'll see you in the next one. Big love. Now I'm going to go and rest my bowels.